And what's up America? This is old Jim Bob coming to you from the Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. Somewhere in America in a secret location. To be disclosed at a date of her time. Well today I've been to the doctor again. Uh, over there they uh, want to do a brain scan on me. and uh, So they did it. And uh, I checked everything out. I said, uh, well there's a... Uh, a lot of pornographic images up in there, but other than that, it was pretty much vacant. So, uh, everything come out all right there. Um, and that's what I, not what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about needles. Uh, you know, every time you go to a doctor now, they want to stick a needle in you for something the other day. You want to prick your finger and get some blood out. They want to stick a needle in your arm, take some blood out, or or they want to stick a needle in your butt and, and uh, give you some medicine or something like that. Needles, needles, needles. Everywhere you go when you go to the doctor, you get stabbed with a needle. And I don't like it. And uh, I don't understand why today in the 21st century, one of you smart ass kids out there ain't invented something or other that uh, they could do all that with without sticking me with a needle. Um, I'm getting old and I'm getting tired of it and uh, y'all kids need to step up and invent something to where they won't be stabbing everybody every time they go to the doctor. Now I've got uh, some ideas about how to make it a little bit better and I'll share them with you in a minute. But um, you know you've got to, you got to get rid of them needles as soon as you can. You know like on uh, Star Trek Old Bones up there, he, he didn't have no needles, he was like, whoosh, and then it was all, you know, medicine was in there. So get something like that and get it invented and hurry up and get busy with it. Okay, now here's the thing that'll make it a little bit better. If you go to the doctor and he wants to take some of your blood or test your blood, well, they take uh, a little old vial of it, and uh, or maybe two vials, you know, just depends on how much checking they want to do. I say that what they ought to do is go on and take a pint, pint and a half of it and then do like they do with these uh, kids go down there and they sell their blood for $20 a gallon or a pint or whatever it is and, uh, and pay you 20 bucks when they take your blood or something like that, see? Whatever the going rate is, you know, if it's higher or higher, you know. And uh, so that way make it a little bit better. And uh, if you had to do a urine sample, I don't know um, how much that to pay you for that, but that's another thing that make you indignitized to go in there and pee in a jar and uh, <clears throat> stick it in the window and all this kind of stuff and uh, to test whatever they're testing for. Well, now they have to pay me for that kind of stuff. I mean, they're taking my bodily fluids and now uh, to get something for it. And uh, so that's what I'm thinking about. I think uh, they all start paying us to stick us with the needles and uh, and then uh, they ought to invent something. It's about time somebody got smart enough. I mean, good God Almighty, <clears throat> they did the brain scan. Uh, they couldn't do that 20 years ago. Now they can look in your brain and see, you know, how hollow you are. And, and why can't they then get rid of these needles? Well, that's my commentary on the needles. and. So I hope somebody comes up with a good idea, and if you do, let me know, and maybe we'll get a patent on it and get rich. Jim Bob's out.